G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from Byron Bay Australia. I take photographs of space and I've been working with Rick from Polaris, a metalcore band from Sydney, Australia, on a space metal project using the Intel Evo based HP Spectre laptop. It's a journey, a creative journey that I'm going to take you on. So far I've been processing images, using this to run the observatory, it's been really fantastic. And Rick's been showing me some amazing stuff with his guitar and audio processing on the laptop. Today I'm going to show you how I'm editing my images a little bit differently. Because this is a creative project, I'm not just doing straight scientific based representations of these images from space. I'm trying to trick it up a bit. I'm trying to animate them. I'm trying to add in some special effects, really make it more music video like. I've been using Adobe After Effects for this and I think the effects are really quite cool. One of them in particular that I did with a black hole was really interesting. Anyway, join me as I show you how I'm doing some of these special effects. I'm gonna go watch Polaris play live in Cool and Gather and I'm gonna take a trip to Sydney to visit Rick and see how he's going with the song. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. Okay, in order to animate this, I need to first remove the stars from the background layer. So what I'm gonna do is run the Starnet process, which is a really cool star removal tool. And that leaves you with this pretty dramatic looking starless version of the nebula. But now we need to get the stars on a separate layer. And for that, I'm gonna use Photoshop. First, I'll save this off. Now I'm gonna open up both the starless and the starry version. What we we'll wanna do is subtract this from the star version so that we end up with a layer which is just stars. So first I'm gonna copy this star layer and dump it in as a new layer, just copy and paste. Now we have two layers here, one with stars and one with everything. Now for the blending mode for the star layer, I'm gonna set that to difference. And that leaves me with a layer which is just stars. I'm gonna flatten and save this. So now I've got just stars and no stars, and I can combine these for a bit of an animation effect in Adobe After Effects. New project, new composition, and now I'm gonna drag in my starless layer. Let's zoom in a touch, and I'm gonna give it some overlap. So what I'll do is have this one moving, uh, maybe from right to left, let's see. I'll go back to the start, set the position about 15 seconds. So I've got a keyframe in there now, and change this position to move it through space. Now if I play it, it's slowly animated by moving this across slowly. So we've got some movement on our background layer there. Okay, so let's drag in our star layer here, whack it on top, change the scale so that it's matching what we've got below it. Now our stars roughly match the scale of the layer below it. And now we have to change the blending mode. So in layer, go to blending mode and I like color dodge. That works really well for compositing the stars back in. Now our background is moving, but our stars aren't moving. So I'm going to add some position information here to get the stars going. Keyframe there and a keyframe at the end. What I'll do is maybe add some scale as a keyframe as well. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Okay, so I've played with the position to keep that bright star locked onto that bright area, but the rest of it scales up quite dramatically. So it looks almost like you're flying sideways through the star field. And that's pretty cool, right? An animated version of one of my astro photos. I'm going to use all of these sorts of backgrounds in the space model video that Rick and I do. And so it was that Sunday night that I headed north. Not technically guided by the North Star, although I have a feeling I may have been the only person in the room that night who knew where the North Star was in relation to the stage. It was actually just under the ground below the stage. But above there, a wild Rick Schneider appeared with his band Polaris. And as I looked around the room at all the people stood shoulder to shoulder, I realized how much I'd missed this. I hadn't done this for two years because of the pandemic and to stave off insanity as an astrophotographer, I was used to just going out and seeing live music all the time. Here's a list of some of the bands I've seen over time. One of my friends actually commented on the video saying, 
oh my god, they're actually touching. It was a really good night and I'm completely deaf, I'm pretty sure. And now it's my turn to head down to Sydney and see what Rick's up to. New South Wales has gone from living a COVID-free life to having Greater Sydney in lockdown, borders shut to its residents and restrictions reimposed in regional areas. should be in Sydney, but I'm not in Sydney. I'm stuck here in Byron Bay. Sydney's locked down, the Gold Coast is locked down, so I just have to keep being creative here, going slowly insane. Rick has sent me a uh, arrangement of the song, and I wish I could share it for you, but I, I can't, and I won't do that here. I'll wait for the big reveal at the end, but if you do want to see how it's going check out Rick's Instagram channel and his IGTV and you'll get a taste of what's coming. Uh, I really want to tell a story with the video not just make it a slideshow of my pictures to really cool music uh, so I'll be working on that. The next video you see on this channel will be the final product will be the space metal collaboration video so enjoy that and watch this space.